Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your full moon reading. This is for the 15th, August 15th. This is um, a full moon reading. We're just going to see what comes up. I didn't do any channeling. I've been sitting here. I, my mind was clear. Um, what do we have? What do we have for the full moon? A release of some sort. That's pretty common. Be careful not to repeat your past mistakes. I'm seeing like the judgment card, okay? That's just the judgment card. Be careful not to repeat your past mistakes, to go back to your past. Make sure that you have learned from them. Start right here. What do we got for the fifteenth? Be careful. Be careful. Okay, be careful because caution. Caution. And I'm not trying to scare anybody. Patience. This is the temperance card. This is a card of timing as well. The need to be patient. What you what you reap, you sow. <laughs> Interesting. So see, the seed has grown. Something is blossoming. This is a card of alchemy as well. Somebody has created something, and now it's about to reach its full potential. So something is about to reach its full potential. The time is now. The time is now. Hmm. It is. It is. Something has grown. It's, we're about to... This is a blossom right here. Somebody has created something through manifestation. Interesting. Interesting. And patience has persevered. They're pa now something is coming up. It's coming out. It's like it's out of the ground into the atmosphere, right? So this is very similar to the one that I just did for the 14th. Well, this is for the 15th. Something is about to really open up. You created it through your intentions through your own divine magic. Stay connected. We are all born connected to spirit, often known as the divine source. Yet many of us had it has a ten have a tendency to pull away from that connection as we journey through life in the physical world. Now is an important time to reconnect with Source. And it's funny because in the 14th reading, I mentioned the divine connection. So somebody's connection to Source has allowed them to cultivate some sort of new growth. If you have not set intentions, if you don't believe, if you don't have faith and you don't have trust... This may be a time to reconnect and start the process because this is a, the temperance is a card of alchemy. It's a card of basically magic. You can create whatever you want, but you have to stay connected to source and you have to believe and you have to have faith. Okay. I'll put that right here. I'm going to show you what's on the bottom because it's pretty prominent. Stay, just stay connected. Just ask. Just ask. There are many here in the spirit world that can assist you at this time. We are made up of the divine source. Your loved ones, friends, guides, angels, and spirit helpers who are waiting to assist you. We are your spiritual team. 
And all you have to do is ask for our help and guidance. But you also have to believe and have faith and have trust. This is a time of awakening by the looks of things. Spirits are all around. It's a very um, connected time. Source is here. We are waking up. The world is waking up. If you are one of these awakened souls, ask, believe, have faith, and trust, and you will get whatever it is that you want to create. Trust me. Let's get an angel romance card because we got all these people watching this video that want to know about love and that's all they care about, right? There's a lot of people that are more connected than that. But there are some that are looking for another person to complete them. Not knowing that it's them that complete themselves. So... What do we got from the Angel Romance cards? Oh, here it is. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Perhaps it's a time to be playful. To have fun. What do we got for this August 15th full moon? Well, should we take these? I guess we probably will. Three of Swords, right on the end. Well, Six of Swords, reluctant. We have somebody here that's reluctant to move on. Six of Swords reversed. Reluctant. Reluctant to move away from a troublesome situation, but this is taking action, maybe making an impulsive decision. Oh, take a break. This is Four of Swords. This Four of Swords is isolation, exhaustion. Three of Swords. This is painful. This is somebody's getting hurt. There's tears, sadness, betrayal. There could be a third party situation here. Somebody, you know, <laughs> is getting hurt because they they made some sort of impulsive decision and now there's been some sort of battle. I mean, I don't know what this is, but take a look at the card. You know, when you get involved in a third party situation, you can expect to pay some consequences for that. Whether you were the instigator or not, if you get involved and you know about it, you're part of it. So there's some tears, there's some sadness. It's like, you know, this person's giving up. This person's giving up. This person has gotten really hurt. And this person seems to be the victor. But this person doesn't really... Didn't want this to happen. There's some sort of sorrow. There's isolation here. And I have to show you now we have retreat on the bottom of this deck. It's time to disconnect from the world. Perhaps somebody acted impulsively and was a little bit too playful with somebody they shouldn't have been. I'm just being honest with you. <laughs> yeah, somebody could have acted impulsively, got themselves into a third party situation, and now they have some regrets. Now they're in trouble. This is trouble. Six state days. Somebody could be in trouble. Page of Rods. Now this is good news. Or news that is arriving. Oh, the Holy Priest. No commitment. 
a Knight of Cups false romance. Somebody got themselves involved or they're about to get into themselves. This couldn't may not have happened yet. Okay, somebody's about to get involved in a false romance. That's a Knight of Cups reverse. This is Prince Charming, talks the talk and woos you and gets you in bed and hits the road, Jack. Okay? So, just keep that in mind. This person really doesn't have any love to offer. This person not looking for a commitment, not looking for marriage, not looking for any kind of... Uh, <laughs> long-term anything by the looks of things. I feel like we have somebody here that is is probably whew, really hurt that they got themselves involved with a romance that used them. I mean, looks like it was it was. Uh, let's get the rest of the cards. Whew. Yeah, it's like they had a bond with this person. They felt a connection, but there was other people involved. Somebody got themselves involved in some sort of player's game. Some sort of player's game. And, you know, they may have been hoping that this was going to turn into a commitment. And now there's some sort of trouble. Some kind of trouble because it's like somebody has found out. Somebody has found out about the third party situation and... There's a battle. <laughs> I think this was very unexpected. Somebody got into a, a situation and they and they thought that or they this may be happening because this is for the fifteenth and I'm recording this on the fourteenth. Be careful. Remember I said caution. Be careful. Don't don't make repeat your same mistakes. Okay, I get it. All right. Don't get yourself involved in a false romance if you know it's a third party situation because it will not lead to commitment. This is a game. It's it's it it may be exciting, it may it may be very attractive to you, but it's not going to lead to a commitment. So you will end up feeling isolated, you will end up having regrets. I'm telling you right now, if you get yourself involved in a third party situation, you are going to regret it. Um, oh my God. Oh, this is the hangman. Don't, don't sacrifice yourself needlessly. Okay. You have nothing to prove. Um, I feel like we have somebody here that, hmm. <laughs> needs to stand up for themselves needs to let go of things that don't serve them needs to wake up we have somebody here that may be you know doesn't is feeling lonely and is looking for some sort of solace from another person not really caring you know if there's another person involved and I'm telling you right now you will get caught you will get caught and somebody will get hurt. Somebody is going to get hurt by involving themselves in a third party situation. There's no commitment here. No commitment is coming. This is based on lust and sex only. No love. Not love. So be really careful. Playfulness can cause you some trouble. I'm just being honest with you. Be patient. Wait. Timing is everything. Wait. Don't let your loneliness cause you to make bad judgment calls oh my fucking god <clears throat> somebody is not listening to their intuition they're not listening to their inner guide you really need to be patient do not let your loneliness cause you to get involved with a situation that does not lead to a relationship I don't know who this message is for. I think there's a strong desire to get laid. Okay? That's what we got here. And this strong desire to get laid isn't going to lead to commitment. And if you're fine with that, then so be it. But somebody's going to get hurt. And I don't know who it is. 
but somebody is going to get hurt. And when that person gets hurt, there's going to be re repercussions. And all three people are going to be impacted. So my advice is to patiently wait. Plant your seeds and wait for divine timing. Ask for what you want and wait for it. Know your value. Know your worth. Now, this is a card of evolving, changing. Don't repeat your past mistakes. Unless you want to continue to suffer. Take a break. The commitment that you are meant to be will come to you when you least expect it. And I don't like to hear that. That's a, that's a common saying, right? But this is what this is. You need to wait for it. You need to patiently wait for it. And that's my that's my reading. I'll do another one tomorrow. But this uh, we're gonna we're gonna make this for the fourteenth. Okay, the fourteenth. And I would do because and then I'll do another reading for the full moon tomorrow. Good luck.